on the loser side of bracket, we have uh, Seb Pro taking out K9, uh, Larry Lur over Kira Flags, uh, Sir John over uh, Charlie the King, uh, Cyro over Ghost, and now we have uh, Seb versus uh, Sue, uh, Legit versus Larry, uh, Sweet Tea versus Sir John, and Wrath versus Cyro. Mm -hmm. So that is your loser's bracket for the time being. Excited to see it, but now we have Rido, El Rido Elegant again. So we're going to be seeing Duck Hunt versus Luigi. I'm really curious to see how like both these players are going to adapt because at this point, throughout this last week, both of the players have taken sets off of each other. So let's see how the adaption is going to be. I mean, I feel like Luigi's not going to be able to get his super insane like 90% combo because Duck Hunt can just can out of his way, you know? True, but Elgin is really good at hitting like those true confirms. So I think as long as he doesn't like try to go crazy for like those extendo things, he's able to actually get the true zero to death. I mean, at the very least, no, he can get like a slightly like less Probably damaging 80%. true, yeah, eighty percent at the very least. And at which point, like all he needs is like down throw uh, up B or down throw down B, or just uh, back air at a certain percent, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, starting off on FD, I think, yeah, I think Elegant was, like, asking if he wanted to go to PS2, and they just decided to start off on FD. Good stage for both these players. Neither can really land against each other. But I would favor this a little more in Duck Hunt's favor just because you have so much space to set up your traps and everything. And, like, Duck Hunt can restrict an area without him actually needing to be there. Just with the, uh, with the properties that can is. So I'm really curious about Elegant's... Uh, his strategy of getting around the fact that, oh, wow. Uh, you know what? Max range grab, that's how you do it. Yep. I mean, like, who cares if there's a cannon away when my grab goes through that can? Yeah, that was ridiculous. Yeah, I'm really curious about elegant strategy of getting around Duck Hunt's setup. Oh, I love the I love the Zare that just gets rid of the gunman immediately. Right. You know, I know he can also use Zare to uh, hit the can, and I'll change the can to his pride. Oh, my gosh. Everything is just destroying these gunmen. You saw the fireball. Right. You saw the Zare. Get him out of here, honestly. Yeah. And if the can comes up and approaches him, he can just nair and kind of like clink with it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is a lot better matchup for Luigi than I thought at first. Mm -hmm. you know, quick fair off stage, you know, duck hunt, no way. Oh, going deep for it. Yep. Actually just one coining the can. Ooh, oh, he, he wanted that down air. But unfortunately, uh, Ryo's going to snap to ledge a little bit quicker. Gives a quick uh, throw into can combo. Yeah, I really thought Elegant was going to just back air right there, but I think he's actually facing towards him. And yeah, I just wanted that down to just put him in the dirt. Ooh, trying going for a tornado and we'll get wow. punished for that. I didn't think Ryder was going to have enough time to up smash. Now that I think about it, Duck Hunt is very fast. He is, in fact, a dog. So, you know, four legs, you run a lot faster than some person on two legs. I mean, with a duck to kind of help you along the way, sure thing. Back air out of shield. Yep. And just like that, Elegant cleans up the stock super quick. And this is effectively an even game. Mm -hmm. Still 40%. Elegant needs to find this way in so he can get that damage. There's definitely that sweet spot where he can get that zero to death. If he can just get him before the can, if he can like get the can on the other side right. and hit him before the uh, clay pigeon comes out. Yep. Oh, but like Rido's just like, okay, you, you you got that one stock on for me. I am going to put up as many defenses as I possibly can to prevent you from getting this grab. Because that grab is the one thing that's going to like bring you back into this game. Definitely. If I'm right, I'm like, I need everything out here. I need my full army to come out and throw things at him. I know the second he grabs me, I will die. Yep. And Elegant at that point would be like, okay, I, I can't, I gotta stop fishing for the grab, you know. Let me get the, some damage at this point. Yeah, I think after 143%, you're like, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna get the grab. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I tried. It didn't work out. Let, let's let's play neutral this time. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you saw right. He hesitated there to think like, okay, I'm probably not gonna get anything off of this. So, ooh, cool. but he manages to punish the high side rec B recovery. Yeah, catches the end lag of the side B. And now, Rido going high is not really what you want to do. Tries to go out, run off of the down air, just not fast enough. Right. Ooh, Oops. finally he manages to land that tornado. Yes. You know, he was really struggling to hit that and getting punished for it a lot of the time. Yeah, cyclone out of there. I don't want to get hit by anything you have to throw at me. I like how Elegant likes to throw off to Zeri just for that quick. If you're going to air dodge in, I have a little bit of a hitbox to extend my... Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Elegant. That was so unfortunate. Elegant just went a little... He literally went like an inch forward, and that was too much. Yep. I mean, Luigi can cover super deep, but he had like zero air drift. Mm-hmm. 
So yet again, I mean that that was elegant. Elegant had that that stock at the very least, you know, because he would have re grabbed ledge and then probably gone for a back air, mm -hmm. you know. And at which point he was only at like eleven percent, so he definitely could have brought that game back. So yeah, game two just gonna go right back into it. I'm not sure what the stage was. Yep, running back to FD. You saw that Ryder was really good at just putting up that wall. Hey, don't want to get hit by Luigi. And that's the one thing that Luigi struggles with. If you're able to space him out with these projectiles and just make sure he can't get in, it's so hard for him to get this damage. And like I said, there was that sweet spot before the, uh, but yeah, that sweet spot before oh. the can comes out, get rid of the frisbee. You got that one grab, and look what he did. Look what happens once you let Luigi get in. You have to just, you have to camp him out. You have to get him away from him. You have yeah. to space him out. Sorry. For force him to, like, use something other than grab. And no, he went for the double there, and he made it back. Are you kidding me? That I was, like, 2-0 to death. I have no words for that. That was so good. What I'm, like, upset by is the fact that he came back. There we go. That's oh, the no. end of the game. So what do you think we're going game two? Oh, damn uh, it. I got. Oh, I, if I would have been so mad I if got Elegant so, had, had gone that up. I got so excited. I'm not going to lie. That was I. That was a little bit of bias there because he was just popping off. Especially with oh, the, no, that's down. Oh, going for a back air. I don't think he was confident he could hit it. But, which is that, this, that. Is a, this is a completely different Elegant from game one. Good tech, oh. but up B going to kill him. Jeez. What the hell was this game too elegant? Elegant okay, looked like game one didn't happen. Yep. Okay, I was just like, okay, I gave you I gave you game one. I, I, that was a present for me. Now See, let me give you another present in this formula up B. See, I've come up with this formula that, like, the way elegant is and the way that, like, how wacky he is, I think that if he gets, like, destroyed a game, he has this mental ability to just – Forget that game happened, and then go into a new game. Like, just not even have that in his mind. Just forget yeah. it. Um, that's exactly what happened. He forgot that happened, and he just... I mean, with the way that saw that, I mean, he made Rido look like chump change at that point. Like, like yeah, that, that double dare dip, and he, the fact that he made that back, disgusting. Game three going over to PS2. A lot of room for... Uh, this is that stage that a lot of setup and a lot of combo characters really like to go for. You got all that space to work with, and then you have that platform, so it's not completely an FD stage. All right. There's just so much stage in it. And quick. All right, manages to land with the down B. Oh, he wanted that dare, but manages to find a dare on stage. Mm -hmm. And then the combo. Wow, he managed to get Pigeon into up smash, you know, because he was just that close to it. Yeah, Clay Pigeon still such a good combo tool. Down throw. Just goes to the up air. 73%. Right. You know Elegant's probably going to look for that down throw up B. Yeah. Ooh, there okay. he goes. Down throw. Oh, oh barely misses it. Yeah. It's one of those, like, heavily, like, you have to read the DI and then, like. Yeah, I asked Elegant about it. it. I was like, is that true? He's like, yeah, I just have to read the DI. But Elegant is really good at, like, reading it most of the times. You know, right. sometimes you miss. You know what yeah. happens. I mean, you have to pull the trigger. And, like, sometimes, like, maybe they do, like, an awkward, like, down angled one. And so I oh, love yeah. that he put used the. Uh, the, the rapid jab to push him into the can. You know, the second he let go of shield, he got hit by the can. Yeah, I really thought Elegant was going to try to roll behind him, but he just got pushed back so far. I love Ooh. that. I really like that pressure that he put on. He, like, hit his shield, saw that Elegant was standing there, and then got shot by the gunman, so he was just stuck in shield. So he had a safe way of actually just getting over him. All right. And at that point, uh, Elegant was scared of throwing sh shield, and oh. oh, he still manages to get the down throw, uh, down B. Right now, Elegant does not really have this way of killing Rido. And as I say that, the down throw, Cyclone is going to save, not save him again, but just get him that stock. I mean, I just find it insane how, like, Elegant effectively has a character that can kill off a down throw at basically, like, 0%, 60%, and, like, 80%. And oh, my gosh. Look at that damage. You saw that he realized that he was on the edge, so he couldn't do that falling up air run up up B. So he just decided to go for a different uh, combo. And look how much damage he got. Almost right. killed off that Cyclone. He's still going. Right. Oh, Raido trying to challenge him with the down air. And then yet again, gets the gentleman's uh, back throwing the can. Goes for the double gentleman. Tries to hit the can, but barely missing. Yep. Oh, he air dodges. Does he have a double jump? He does have a double jump. Goes for the Cyclone, realizing that he likes to go for that again. And really unfortunate the fact that Raido had the idea with the up smash, but just barely didn't hit. I would have maybe liked to see a uh, down smash because that will that would have hit him. Right. And yet again, both at one thirty-four percent. You know, it's going to really come down to can Raito find this kill? Will Elgin get a grab first? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it's down to and can away. Get that away from me. All right. You know, Elegant is like being super careful with his stocks. I, oh, I think the gunman shot him. That makes sense. sense? I, I, I feel like he should have hit the gunman and died, uh, pff, gets an up smash. Why not? No, it doesn't matter. I feel like every player kind of does that, where there's like, ha ha, I've taken the stock. Now I can relax a little bit. And the second you relax a little bit, you get hit by something and you die. Yeah, it's definitely like that time when you come down and you're like, let me try to get this revenge stock real quick. Oh my god, Elegant unfortunately just barely missed spacing that down air. He could have ended the game right there. Elegant was going so ham for that edge guard. You know he wanted to just put him in the dirt again, just right. go up 2-1. But more smash will be played. Space now with those that double fair, 43%. He's actually, this fair is putting in mad work. All right. Oh, back air, and here's Not the edge guard. I mean, higher low, higher low. Unfortunately, right the, the the can covering his uh, the the his recovery, recovery yeah. yeah. You know, Rado is really good at just putting out that can, make sure his recovery as safe as possible. While it's still not safe and it still is linear, he's able to just ride the wall, put up the can. So it's just not a free edge guard. Right. And yet again, here's a quick down tilt. Yeah, try just, to spam him. All right. Down tilt is known for hitting below the ledge, and that back air will take it. All right. Oh, can going up two one now. You you know what again can do is like he always does like two or three down tilts just so that he'd be like one two three and then like you're gonna have to pick an option because you are not gonna stand there for a third one or yeah. a fourth one so then he usually like does like short hop like back air or short hop there and mm -hmm. then that usually catches a lot of options and if you jump you get hit by that if you do normal get up you get hit by that and if you do roll then he can uh, turn around and uh yeah you just grab. read it yeah. react so i think we went back to ps2 yep elegant switching back to the I don't know, I think the default. Either way, the elegant skin. Yep. Ooh. No, elegant is just going ham. He's rolling right. all over the place. Let me in. Oh, man, just sneaking two fares. Tries Gets a back air, but not going to be able to quite finish anything off because he needed to recover. Yeah, unfortunately, grab the ledge. Not able to continue on with the edge guard. I love the jump air dodge in just to get past the can. Right. It is the, basically the pseudo wave dash to just get past the can. Yet again, Elegant is just looking for anything that he can do to hit Raido, but Raido's just not letting him in at this point. Definitely. Now Raido does four throw can. Double roll again from Elegant. He's he's going all over the place. Ooh, but man just is sneaking that up B and, and a fatal roll for that one. Right. No, usually it's the the player that rolls that dies for for rolling in, you know? But Elegant showing Raido that, like, nah, if you didn't press the button, I'm going to press the button for you. Mm -hmm. Great use of defensive option coming in from Elegant. He was able to, while he did roll a lot, he was able to just get past so many of uh, Raido's defenses. Oh, my oh. God. He was. He was, saw Raido just spamming that B button because the first thing that came out as soon as he landed was uh, the can. Yeah, both players were moving. Elegant was getting into his rhythm, and Raido was like, get me out of here, please. Down throw can. I That was a really cool setup, but unfortunately, it did not kill. I like that, how like the can, like he hit the can that into the cool. stage and it bounced off, so. Yeah, Raido, Raido definitely known for his tricksies. Yeah. Probably has a thousand setups in his head that he uses at any time. I feel like it's not like a pre-planned setup. He's just like, uh, can's gonna bounce this way, so this kinda should work. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, that just goes to show you the, the mastery of the character, you know? Mm. Like, that's how you know, like, okay, this should work. So even if I don't know if it's going to work, if it doesn't, great. But if it does, then, like, ha, 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 I am a genius. Yeah. Oh, gets the jab. But the way with Luigi's jab working, the fact that he moves his uh, body back a little bit, he actually ran into the can. All right. So right now, Ryder resorting to putting out the uh, the army. He's got everyone working at his disposal to make sure they do not get near him. And you see Elegant just trying to find this one grab so he can do a, a down throw down B combo. Mm -hmm. But I like how the, like, the grab can also like turn the, the can against himself. Mm -hmm. So it's not just a, a bad thing just to throw it out. It's not like you're getting punished for it. Oh, that was a really interesting like interaction with the clay pigeon. He got hit by like the first, then the last, and he was able to get a conversion with it still. Oh. Up smash. Yeah, that one's going to hit. Yep. That was a super, super brave uh, down B to try to take Rido's stock there, but. Yeah, Elegant really known for throwing out that Cyclone because it's such, 
it's such a good move and it hits, but then when it doesn't, you're like, you look like a damn fool for being yeah. honest. Ooh, down throw to Can, the back air, but unfortunately he clanks with the down, uh, the tornado. Yeah, Cyclone gonna bail Elegant out of that, uh, that little right. jam. And again, that Cyclone being invincible. And oh, Karate chopping him out of here, 97% on Elegant. Rido knows the name of the game is don't get grabbed, yep. or don't get like that optimal grab right oh, there. Oh, you know what, I think he did that on purpose, because now he's not at 0%, he's not at a kill percent. True. So. Yeah, I think Rido either wanted to like throw out the can to hit Elegant because he was gonna try to grab him, and in that scenario, he was also able to like not be at zero percent, so you can just get you know All right. memed on. Like, let's take away the win condition for at least another like sixty percent. And that's such a smart thing to do because if you can blow yourself up, it's so good to do when you have like when you're against that character who like has that hoo ha or has that win condition like right. for a cargo you, throw. Yeah, or as long as you don't, as long as you can escape the the win, per, win yeah, condition but. percent, then like. Do it. Yeah, you if you can get yourself out of that percent window, it's worth it because then that bit of stress is gone. Right. And right now, Elegant is looking like he doesn't have the answers for it. Rido is playing such a solid neutral. Right. Down angled F tilt. We're going to take this to a game five. And yet again, that was a close, close game on both players' part, you know? Mm -hmm. it was like, even though like Elegant was at 150 and Rido was only at like 50%, like uh, one solid grab could have done it. Mm hmm. Going into game five, you really, Elegant was really hoping to close it out with that 3-1 victory, but right. Ryder was just able to just tank it out, make sure Elegant was not able to get in. And you said it yourself, even put him outside of that window where you could just get that true zero to death. But now we are on Elegant's counter pick, and if we if this is anything like game two, then this is going to be an excellent counter pick for Elegant. I'm not going to lie, I don't want to, if I'm Ryder, I don't want to see game two Elegant ever. Just get that monster away from me. Right now, you see Rido jumping a lot, so he just right. doesn't get grabbed. All right. Get hit by anything except grab, and then, like, okay, now I can play the game. That's fine. You can hit me with anything else, but if I get grabbed, I will not be happy. Yeah. I ooh, I like the karate chop to get the can away from me. Ooh, I like that trying to land with a, a Zare, the little tomahawk, but Rido jumping out of the way. Gets forward smash, but unfortunately, Elegant is not going to be able to avoid all these explosions. Gets an up smash for it. He used the invincibility of Luigi's head for the up smash to actually get some damage. Although he was still trading afterwards, it was still good damage. All right. Oh, that's weird. Like, you hardly ever see anybody fall out of a uh, dash attack nowadays. Yeah. It was definitely because Raida was, like, still in the air, so it wasn't, like, that clean hitbox. Right. Oh, there we go. A grab. Oh, yeah, he read that, too. He was yep. waiting. He's like, all right, I need this. 70%. Elegant taking the first stock after just getting zoned out oh for minutes, no. and there's the oh. grab. Oh. oh my gosh. He just barely missed that uh, fall, fast fall up air. Yeah, that looks like it's really tight timing, yep. but not going to die to the uh, the Shoryuken, unfortunately. All right. Well, that's one of those things where like he really needed that like last up air in order to do just enough percent for the Shoryuken to kill. Mm -hmm. Ooh, well, but using he the He got deleted. Yeah. Oh, gets the grab. Like, Not Rido was just like, too. okay, I see you have a uh, kill co throw combos. Like, let me show you my kill throw combo. Throw, boom. Yeah, he got thrown in the can and deleted, left the stage. Ooh. Jab, jab, just canceling out with the down smash. Really don't see people go for that anymore just because, like, the jabs don't really pop you up. So, like, there's no reason to go for these jab mix-ups, but it's it's still there. I mean, if you drop shield to try to grab, then, like, yeah. like That looks like that's what happened. Yeah. So Elegant, again, needs just one more opening to really close this out against Rido. Rido's going to try his best to not only camp him out, not camp, but like turtle him out, but also get that kill. Yep. So he, does, he, has, he has two jobs to do, and what's going what's gonna to work best with that job is these, uh, this can. Double oh. Frisbee up here, not going to – I'm so surprised that didn't kill, if we're being right. honest. I mean, maybe Rido just had barely, like, not enough rage. I know rage starts kicking in at, like, 35%, I believe. Yeah. So – Yet again, no Even at like 140, I was, you just would have thought an up air there would have killed, but really unfortunate. Right over 46, right. 44%, and climbing, but Elegant not dying yet. So resilient. Yet again, manages to roll past Rido. Tries to tornado, and good thing on Elegant to uh, tornado past the ledge so that he can not die. But yet again, 55%, you know, this is definitely doable for Rido. Yeah, Rido is known for getting just that one hit and getting so much damage with his setups. 37 already. Jab, jab, both directions, why not? Ooh, you saw Elegant trying to go for that grab to finish things off. But 
Rhino conditioning him into the shield, gets a grab of his own, gets the can. And like I said, already evening it back up, 70% on both characters. Right. Rhino yeah. managing to take the lead, you know, is this enough to take the game though? Mm -hmm. Rhino is just so good at bringing these comebacks. Because he knows he could just, he has a really good mix of, like I said, that turtling, I'm going to throw out all these hits, but then if I get that hit, I know how to convert off of it. Right. It's that switching the defense to offense on the dime, you know, mm -hmm. knowing that, okay, this hit, I recognize this hit, now let's go in, you know, but just staying patient enough to say like, okay, I know I'll get this hit eventually. Elegant I just need to trust myself, you know? Yeah, Elegant has not gotten a hit in a while, and you know he wants that grab. No, neither player had gotten hit in a while. But as I say, uh, Elegant getting that zero into the dash tag, I think he knew if he got the down throw, it wouldn't have uh, worked just because Can was there. So he actually opted for the dash tag, which hit the Can and him both. So right. percent on everyone. Ooh, this is the up air. Up air. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Rido bringing that one back. You saw Rido.